Hello everyone, it's I, Alex, once again, and it's time to do another console fix video, whatever you want to call these. And I know it's been about three and a half years since I've done my last one, but I decided, eh, why not do this one, because, ah, uh, the Dreamcast is one of my favorite consoles of all time. Now, this is about a disc reading error, as you may look at the title, or whatever I may call it. And, you know, you put a disc in, like this, and what we're going to be using is Sonic Adventure. Right there, the official game. It's not a burned CDR. Now we're going to just... Ooh, I'll probably treat that a little bit better. Oh, crap. Oh, well. I'll fix it afterwards. Anyway. Just close it, and I'll just... Move the camera up like that. Alright. So, let's hit A. Very strange, isn't it? Please wait while the disc is being checked. And then, you just hit... It doesn't work, right? Now, what happens is the disc here will stop spinning for no reason, you may be thinking. Now, let's just turn that off for now because that thing is loud. I'll put the game back in its case real quick. Now, you may be wondering, why is this happening? Well, there are many reasons why it could be happening. It is either one, well, three, there's actually three reasons. One, the lens right here is actually dirty, so you want to take a Q-tip with alcohol, or not alcohol, more like rubbing alcohol, or or peroxide, or perhaps even water, and just, you know, lightly dab it on there, and then dry it with the other side of the Q-tip, you know, put the disc in, try it again, if it works, then great, you don't have to do the other steps, which is, uh, if you do have to just do that, you're lucky. My friend had that same issue with the GameCube, so let's put this over here, unplug the back. Now... I've done the, the, not the liberty, but more of a time saver of taking out the four screws on the bottom. Let me just get a better angle of that. So, the screws are right, one right there, one right there, one there, and the other right there. To get that one, you need to take off the 56K modem. You just kind of push it off like that. It's, it, maybe have, it might take a little bit of force, but it's pretty simple. Now... Let's just take this off. Very simple. No cords attached, thankfully. And no stupid spring things that you can remove. Anyway, now you want to set it right there. Because I'll tell you why in a second. Actually, we should move it out of the way so I can give you a better angle of what you need to do next. Now right here, just get a better angle, zoom in. And I can't move my camera much because of the limited space I have at the moment. Now... You see this cable right here? I know you're not stupid, so you can see it. Now, under here, there are these, whoop, there's these things that I'm flicking up and down right here. You want to take your hand, or your finger, I should say, lift that up, and then just take a screwdriver and push the cord out under, uh, from under, I should say. Very easy, you know. The cords won't rip unless you're very violent with them, which I would not suggest. So well, let's just zoom out a little bit more here, and then now we can take this and put that there. And then the next part is you want to take the, the desk lens right there, and you want to push that back. Don't touch the uh, lens piece. Very careful. Push it back like that. Very simple. Then you want to grab that right here, and you want to take it and put it right back here. And that is why you want that back piece there, so it doesn't fall off, and this ribbon cable doesn't get detached. If it does get detached, like it might be detached here, you just push it in. You know, it's got pushed in. It's not too hard. It's well, actually, it becomes completely dis. There we go. Yeah. If that, if that's that's another one too. I should say, if that thing is like not completely, you know, plugged in, plug it right in, and it should work. And then, what we want to do is we're going to zoom in on the part that we need to fix. And this one, it's explained in, you know, tutorial videos and all that, but woo. Come on. Right now. Let's see if I can, okay. Leave it like that. It's explained in tutorial videos, but it's never really shown that it actually works. Now, you want to take the smallest flathead screwdriver you can find. Perhaps something like, where is it? Woo, come on. Come in. Something like that. You know, whatever. Pretty much like that. 
And you want to take that piece right there and move it, turn it to the right, basically clockwise. What happens over time, for some unknown reason, the thing will turn counterclockwise just a little bit, and then that will cause the disk speed to be screwed up. Now, I have two Dreamcasts, and this one right here is what I did to fix it. Yes, I actually turned it to the left a little bit to, you know, let you know that it doesn't work when it's in this position. And then you can just turn it back, and it'll fix it. The other Dreamcast, I think, had another issue, and I couldn't fix that. So what we want to do is we want to take this. I hope my hand's not in the way. Take that. And we want to turn it just... Woo! We want to turn it just slightly to the right. Now, make sure you don't strip this thing either. I'm fidgety right now. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Alright. I may cut if this takes too long. Alright. Come on. There, now it's in. You just want to carefully. Alright, now. Now just turn it. I cannot tell. Alright, yes, I turned it. I'm going to turn it to the right just a little bit. Like that. Now we're going to put it right back together in times two speed. So you don't have to sit here and watch this over again. And we'll see if it worked. If it didn't work, then I'll just do it again. But times two speed. Let's just do that now. You know, now that I think about it, I didn't have to do two times speed. I actually did it rather quickly. Alright, so let's try this again. Let's just zoom all the way out. And then we'll just take the disc. Actually put that in first. Actually, yeah, let's just start up on the menu. Alright. Let's see, come on. Load up for me. I need to get the new internal battery backup on this. All right, so let's put this in like so, like that. All right, close it. All right, now let's see if it worked. If it didn't, then we'll just do it again. All right, now, okay. did not work. So let me just speed times two past this, or let's just speed up times two, and we'll just turn it again. again and just screw it a little bit more to the right. Oh, my head's not in the way. All right. Just slowly. All right, I turned it a little bit more. Let's see if it works. But this time, we're not going to actually put the top on. What we're going to do is all right, pull this back to the front. Power the system on. Well, actually, we got to plug it in first. That might help a little bit. So let's just do that real quick. Turn it on. Plug this in. I know I may get electrocuted from doing this, but eh, I'll be fine. Maybe. All right, so let's put the disc back in or on it. Where did this go? Oh, I left it in here. And I forgot to take it out of the shell. I'll just pop that right in there. And there's a switch in the back here you can push down so you can have it read. Let's do that. Now if the disc stops, that means it's not working. Oh ho! Will oh, you look at that? It worked! Thank you. Alright, and it worked! Now we're just going to go back to the menu. And we're going to actually officially put it back together. So you can actually get the, what do you call it, not the official, more the, whoops, power off. All right, just put it back in like this. All right, making sure that you can see that it actually works. See if the disc reads. And there you go. Now, if the disc happens to not completely load or... We'll just turn this off. 
Now, if you're playing a game and it doesn't load or it like kind of just stops, even though the disc is completely flawless with its, you know, sh you know, shape and all that, then you may just need to adjust the clock a little bit more so it can read the disc faster. Uh, don't turn it to the right too much, otherwise, well, I don't think it actually even works. I mean, it'll read it really fast. It'll spin fast, but it won't actually read it because it's too fast, obviously. So that is my guide on how to fix a Dreamcast disc reader for most people. And, like, the three things, once again, it may just be the disc reader is dirty. Actually, four things. I keep forgetting. It could just be that the disc reader is dirty. You just got to clean that out. Very simple stuff. I'm going to pull that back. Just make that. All right. Just got to clean it. Or perhaps when you open it up and you see that the ribbon cable is disconnected, you just got to plug that back in. That was the case for one of my Dreamcasts, or actually this one specifically, uh, a while back. But that, that's a completely different issue there. Or third thing, you know, the, disc, the clock thing has to be screwed a little bit to the right and it will start working. Or clockwise, I should say as well. And where the fourth is that it, the Dreamcast burned too many CDRs and it ruined the disc reader. So that's all I can think of for that. So, if this guide helped you, let me know in the comments below. If it did not, I am sorry. I don't know any other way to fix this. Um, so again, if it helped you, comment below, like the video, and share it to your friends. Because I was shocked to see the PlayStation 2 disc reading error, you know, get to 260,000 views at this point. So, that's really cool. So, hopefully this will help out a lot of Sega fans because... I mean, the Dreamcast just turned 20... Uh, how old is it? Uh, was it now? I forget. I think it was like either 16 or something like that. I don't remember the exact age because I don't feel like doing math at the moment. At least in North America, it was a certain age. But anyway, my name is Alex, and I'm drawing a blank now. Hope this video helped you, and I'll see you next time. Farewell.